Hey guys, my name is Mari and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. Today's going to be a quick Timu haul. In my last previous video, I also did a Timu haul, but it was a little bit bigger than what I'm doing today. If you guys also like these nails that I have on, these were from my last Timu haul. These little heart gloves are also from my last haul. If you use my affiliate link to download the app, you're going to get a $100 coupon bundle upon downloading the app with my link. When you use my affiliate code, you're going to get a 30% off at checkout upon downloading the app and using my code. Today's haul is inspired by a lot of the glitter gel polishes that I saw on the website and I could not resist grabbing some up. You may or may not know, Timu is an affordable marketplace that offers a lot of items such as beauty, makeup, nail art, even household organization. They do free shipping, free returns, and also free price adjustments along with your orders. So yeah, let's get right into this video. The first thing I did pick up were these handmade um, press on nails now these are a little bit more expensive than the normal press on nails that are on the website But I wanted to give them a try because it says handmade it comes with the alcohol prep pad a wooden cuticle stick and also a buffer Next thing I did purchase were these little toe press on you already know you have to keep your toes cute and clean Especially that springtime is coming up So I highly recommend that you look into toe press ons You got five ten minutes to go out that door and you don't have time to slap on some polish you can slap on these press on toes, hold them down for a couple of seconds and just take it off the next day. It's pretty simple and easy. Lip oils. Now, when I saw this, I found it really extremely interesting. They are in a bundle of five, but you can also get them single by themselves. First swatch these, I thought the consistency was really nice. It wasn't too sticky. It did have a little bit of stickiness to it, but nothing too crazy. My lips weren't sticking together as I talk. And then also the smell wasn't anything off-putting for the most part. It did have a little bit of an artificial smell to it, but it wasn't anything that was really stinky to me at all. Um, also, the texture is more of like a lip oil combination with the lip gloss. It didn't necessarily feel oily, but it didn't feel sticky like a gloss. It felt like right smack in the middle. And that's one of the things that I actually preferred about this product. If you're interested, I highly recommend you go check them out. If you don't want to buy the bundle, you can always just buy one by themselves. <music> Next thing I purchased were these little baby rhinestones. Now, I thought these were really cute because it comes with all types of different shapes, colors, not necessarily sizes, but again, you do have little baby tiny ones like this little tiny flower. Next thing I did get were nail swatch sticks. I've tried nail polish sticks from high-end brands or competitors and the stick area that was connected to the actual swatch wasn't as thick as this one was and this one is a little bit more durable it does come with the ring so you can attach them all together if you want to have all your swatches all in one did buy two separate bundles of six polishes from the same exact brand so i just wanted to compare them to the polishes from my last video they're extremely similar in sizing as you can see but the one from my last video does look a little bit bigger um, but honestly, me being honest as I always am, I actually prefer these a lot better. The only downside is that these don't self-level as the ones from the last video, but they're actually a little bit more pigmented. Also, I love the glitters. I can't get over the glitters. That is the exact reason why we're doing this haul today. Like, I just can't get over these glitters. Look how pretty these glitters are. You guys are going to see me swatch these polishes. When I swatch these polishes, the first swatch is just going to be with one coat. I'm going to flip it over and then I'm going to swatch the bottom and it's going to be two coats and that's the final swatch. I do find that the formula is also very smooth. If you go in for your second coat, it's not going to look lumpy. It's not going to look bulky. It's going to look really smooth and it's actually going to even it out. I'm going to cue in some music while we swatch the rest of the polishes.
Now the next polishes that I purchased were the 9D Reflective Cat Eye Magnetic Gels. Reflective gels are more like kind of like reflective in the light so it's going to be more like micro glitters or something like that. I don't really know how to explain it but the only thing I can explain it is that it's flashy. So if you put some type of light onto it, it's gonna flash a little bit more than regular polishes or regular glitters. I bought some tools to also try them out because I felt that it was a necessity. So I did buy a little yellow stick that is like a magnetic stick so that I can try to draw some designs on it. And then I also bought another magnetic type of product, which is like a little magnetic wand with the flower on it. And then the other side, I actually don't know what it is for, but it looks like you maybe you can do waves or streaks. I don't really know. This is my second time using magnetic gel polishes and me being honest, I'm going to honestly say that the polish didn't react the way I wanted to. I didn't see a difference in change at all in whether it was making a design or not. I did try it on a darker polish, which you will see in this video. And honestly, I didn't see a difference either. So I used it on one of the lighter ones. Um, I did only pick up three of the magnetic polishes, but I did try on one that was a little bit lighter and then one that was darker and I didn't see a difference at all. I think I'm just going to play around with it more because this is my second time using it and I really don't know at this point how to actually grasp the concept of using it. Maybe I was doing it wrong. You guys let me know in the comments down below if you have any suggestions or tips or anything like that or if I was actually doing it right. So if you guys haven't noticed, I'm trying a different form of audio today. So I don't know if it's going to sound a little bit different. It might sound a little better or it might sound a little worse, but we're going to give it a try. I'm all for trying out new things. Also, this is my haul, all the goodies that I purchased from Timu. As always, I'm obsessed with all my goodies. I am highly, highly, highly happy with everything that I purchased. And I just keep buying stuff, stuff, stuff. Like, I keep getting stuff in the mail. And half the time, I already know it's from Timu because that's where I purchased from. Everything is affordable. So that was my haul for today. That wraps up the Timu haul. If you guys like my video, let me know it down in the comments down below. What do you guys want to see me do next? I would highly appreciate it. Please give me two thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!